Bill Bellamy, and this is the Janet World Tour special. Boy, do we have a show in store for y'all. We're going to talk about the album, talk about the tour, show you Janet's status videos. We got a special guest in the house, live performances, y'all. And we also got to tell you about my main man right now. We got to go to him first, John Norris. Give it up for John, y'all. All right, thanks a lot, Bill. How you guys doing, huh? I think you're okay. No place I'd rather be either than here tonight, Riverfront Coliseum, Cincinnati, because it's time for the lady to kick it live. Folks, she's been ruling the charts for the last six months. Now it's time to do it live. Anyone who's ever seen Janet Jackson in performance, no, she doesn't just get up there and sing. She puts on a full-scale production, pulls out all the stops in the Jackson tradition. She has got a top-flight band with her. She's got eight amazing dancers. The entire posse numbers over 100. Just who is it that helped Janet put this amazing show on the road? Bill Bellamy found out recently at rehearsals in Los Angeles. Check it out. This is like the supreme team of dancers supporting Janet Jackson. She's got the best behind her. And as you can see, they're in shape. Everybody's stomach is just like, crap. So how are you going to prepare for, for a tour that's big, a world tour? We've been working hard every day. Every day. Come in, we do what? How many push-ups? We do our 80 push-ups. We do our 200 sit-ups. What? And then we get on the stage and we dance for a couple hours. So a couple of hours. We're ready. How do you think of like moves, you know, like uh, last, it was a different tour last time. Now it's a whole new thing. You got you to gotta come up with all the moves, baby. How you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing really good. I had a bunch of talented dancers. Um, it's really not that difficult one if you have the music that you enjoy. Uh -huh. And mm, a lot of times the music just tells me what to do. So it's kind of like an inner voice that, that gives me steps and makes me see things. And, and then I find the, the best dancers to make it all come out right. Do you have to rehearse every day? Yeah. Is this like an everyday thing? Sunday we have a, a one day off. Yeah. How about like if somebody gets tired, can they just go yeah. time out and sit down? Like wait, no. wait y'all, hold on, I got a cram, oh God. <laughs> Tina, I want to learn something, you know. I mean, I admire everybody here, but I got to learn the move too. I don't want to hear it. You got to show me one, just something so I can yeah. take home. A little, you know, I got a little bit of rhythm. Got a little rhythm. You know, so you give me a beat, I'm on. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm ready to go. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, the butterfly. All right. I heard about the butterfly. It's kind of um, suggestive. It's suggestive. <laughs> this is the dance you need to learn. Forget the funky chicken. Oh, wait a minute. Let's slow it up. We gotta yeah. go. And this part goes uh, out. Yeah, like your booty come out and then come out. Oh. Yo! Yo! I like it! That's all butterfly. Yeah. Oh, you gotta have a face, right? <laughs> Yo! That's the butterfly. I'm in the half. Y'all didn't know I could do this, huh? This is Helen Hyatt. She is the mastermind behind all the wardrobe here for the Janet Jackson World Tour. Tell me how many clothes, clothes and changes they have. I don't know how many total we have, but we've got 10 racks of clothes that was in the show, and we'll have four dresses that'll work through the entire show nonstop, getting all the dancers through their eight changes. Eight changes? Eight changes. Eight changes, so when you come to the show, a lot of clothes. Janet's uh, outfits are really great. This, the opening is a big smash. Don't tell them. I won't tell them. I'm not telling. Don't it's tell them, girl. Smash. Keep it a secret. Well, you got to show me some more stuff okay, over here, because, you. you know, I want to look good when I give Tina well, we this towel. we need all the help we can get, yeah. Because you know? Tina don't know I'm making this towel for her. She'll love it. Put her name and my name on it. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, guys, come on. I'm going to show you the band. The band is from the best musicians in the world. They've been picked out of hundreds of hundreds of musicians to be behind Janet Jackson. Come on, let's go. I'm chilling with the band. Now, every, there's all elements of this crew. We got the dancers, we got wardrobe. Now we got the band, the people behind Janet that's making the music, making it pop, make it happen. A lot of people don't quite understand what musicians go through. I mean, when they work in show business, you know, you could either be by yourself, you could work in different bands, mm -hmm. you could work on different tours, yep. but then you get a great team together. I mean, I know that must feel like really good, you oh, know. It feels when you, great, because, you, know, you know, it's hard 
period when people all come together and they have their different styles, mm -hmm. you know, and we're just trying to make this grease right. I just want to tell y'all, man, this is the core here. This is the people behind Janet Jackson, and I think everybody here comes together to make a great team. Gotta love it, y'all. Give yourself a round of applause Woo! for being here. Yeah! All right, Bill, all right. I got a round of applause, too. We are back here at Riverfront College in Cincinnati. These are some of the people who get to see Janet. First show, the Janet World Tour. They're among the first nights crowd. But you know what? You guys are too, actually. Because coming up later on, we got live performances from Janet's tour. Stick around for that. But right now, you know, Janet's a lot of things to a lot of people. Singer, dancer, songwriter. But she's also a role model. And Bill asked her about that recently. Does it get pretty pressure on you being, you know, people look at you and say you are Janet's a perfect female type sister, you know. You know, yeah, there's pressure because whether you want to be or not, yeah, you, know, you really are. Kids look up to you, and they're gonna, they're gonna follow, follow you. They want to emulate you. Right. And um, you have to watch what you do, mm -hmm. watch what you say. Exactly. And you're always under scrutiny. Oh. Every day. Yeah, even when you think people aren't watching or noticing, they do. Mm -hmm. Yo. If you think this is crazy, we got more, more, and more. More with Janet, live performance, and a special guest. Ain't that right, Corey? Yep. <laughs> Welcome back to the Janet World Tour Special. I'm Bill Bellamy, and let me tell you, we got a lot of stuff coming up for y'all. We got a video from Janet. We got a live performances. We also got a special guest. But you know what we should do right now? Let's go back to where it all started and let Janet tell you about her current title album, Janet. Check it out. During Rhythm Nation, it was an idea that I had to uh, go a little further, do something that I hadn't done before, basically trying to do that with each project. And uh, it's about love, the highs and the lows of love. That's what this album is about. Going into making the album, we, we all talked about this. I mean, I had meetings and, and with Carrie as well, that this is what I wanted it to be about. A lot of people mentioned going to other producers and this and that, which you know, someday maybe I will, but for right now we have such a magic and a chemistry that I really enjoy working with them. Producing to me is, is uh, it's like directing in a sense. I mean, knowing what you want and, and uh, trying to capture that, trying to get that. It was great. I mean, we did it last time with, with uh, Rhythm Nation with Black Cat. Right. And But this time it was more of that. And um, I just had a lot of fun with it. As far as writing goes, it, it happens differently. Uh, Jimmy and I may get into a conversation while we're watching football. And uh, Jimmy's playing some chords on the, on the keyboard. And he's just fooling around and we're having a conversation in between us, you know, watching the touchdown. And um, we say to him, what, what, what are you playing? He goes, what? Nothing. Why? What? What was it? And I said, was that a song? And he goes, no, it's just I was fooling around. I go, wait, play that again. And he play it again. And we'll start putting a melody to it. And lyrics, and that's how, that's how, that, um, uh, the body that loves you actually formed. I met Kathleen in 87 at the Grammys when I performed at the Grammys in 87. And I knew that I wanted to work with her, I wanted to do something different. And it's kind of like a rock opera, what we've done. But it has a funkiness to it. The song that I wrote for this album, which inspired me, which in, uh, Angela inspired, was, was a New Agenda, which is about instilling pride in African-American women, in their strength and standing tall. And, and um, Chuck D actually uh, performs on that song with me as well. I've always been a big fan of Purple Enemy. And uh, Chuck D, I think, is wonderful. I think he's uh, one of the greatest rappers. And he's a teacher, I feel. I credit rap for teaching our kids a lot about themselves, where they've come from. Because this, I know I wasn't taught in school. I 
have only known of us being slaves, and that was it, not kings and queens. So for teaching us our past, and, and uh, as well as other races, our past, I credit Rat for that, and Chuck B is one of the teachers. So I used to be very shy until I did the film Poetic Justice, which really opened me up a great deal. I don't consider myself shy anymore, and that's what made me open myself up and want to express my feelings even more than what I was going to in, in the beginning to take it, you know, it's kind of to another level without being, you know, just, just over the edge. All right, the Janet album, it's been all over the place. Certainly Chuck D, a talented addition to the album. But you know what? The record just would not have been the record without this man here. Jimmy Jam, how you doing, man? All right, how's it going, guys? Good. Now, I think the last time I saw you was the opening night of the Rhythm Nation tour. How does this, how does tonight feel compared to that tour? Oh, I'm, I'm much more excited tonight. Um, the last tour, I was a little bit involved with, um, with helping the tour out. This time, she did it on her own, and I'm just here as a fan. So I don't know what to expect, so I'm here with everybody else just excited. Really? All right. Well, see, that's that, and you guys, too, because as we've mentioned, we're going to show you a couple of the songs from the tour very soon. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, some awesome videos came from this album so far, right? The first one we got from the album, let's check it out right now. More with Jimmy in just a bit, but right now, that's the way love goes. Janet and friends. Like a the way love goes. All right, that's the way love goes. Welcome back to the Janet World Tour special. John North here with Jimmy Jam. Now, man, I want to ask you, I remember a few years back the story that you and...